You ever notice how much harder I go on women in this segment? Well, if you're Phyllis Schlafly's family, you're going to want to fast forward. Because in the words of Aeschylus, there is no disease that I spit on more than treachery. And while there have been many thoughtful, heartfelt posts lately about not speaking ill of the dead in relation to Phyllis's death, none of those were on the scathing atheist. So strap in and strap down because this bitch was my Scalia. So for the record, this week that miserable bitch did the world the favor of dying. And if you don't know who she is, good. Don't find out. Just go ahead and forget her. Please, I'm asking you, speed up the process of this horrible woman's legacy of misogyny and bullshit being forgotten forever so that she can be really and truly dead. But in case you needed a reminder, she was an anti-feminist, pro-life, anti-gay, bigoted piece of shit who looked like a badly colored inversion of Julie Andrews' corpse. And she spent her whole life saying mean shit so that sexist men had someone with a vag to validate their horrible opinions. Among the many wet, bloody farts that emanated from the baboon asshole she used for a mouth were her oppositions to the Equal Rights Act, gay marriage, evolution being taught in school, a woman's right to choose, and my personal favorite, her denial of the existence of marital rape. Seriously, here's the quote. By getting married, the woman has consented to sex, and I don't think you can call it rape. End quote. She was a miserable, inarticulate, insincere, cowardly horror of a woman who was just too stupid to know or too evil to care what kind of harm she did to women with her backwards-ass opinions. She helped create a legacy of craven, anti-feminist, pseudo-intellectual bullshit that lives on in the YouTube comments of the video version of this segment, I'm sure. Fuck you, Phyllis. Fuck your whole fucking life. Fuck you, fuck every asshole who will repeat your talking points in the name of misunderstood egalitarianism amidst a smelly basement, neck-beardy debate on women's rights. But most of all, fuck every woman you inspire to make the world a worse place for women, just so that they can scrape together a modicum of attention under the misappropriated guise of being contrarian or skeptical. You don't deserve the spit that should line your grave. Now, while everyone goes, whoa, Lucinda, and I sing Ding Dong, the Witch is Dead, I'll go ahead and turn you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 